To find the forward throw, it is first necessary to calculate the whole range distance LM, which is the distance the aircraft travels while the bomb is falling. This is equal to the aircraft's ground speed, VG, multiplied by the time of bomb fall. The time of fall is determined by the vertical motion of the bomb and is the sum of three components. An ideal term, which is the time of fall from rest in a vacuum, a climb and dive term, and a time lag term, tor. Multiplying each term by VG gives the expression to be solved by the NBS computer. The first term is proportional to the square root of height. A potentiometer fed with ground speed voltage VG is turned by a square rooting pinwheel which is driven by the height servo shaft. The second term is proportional to the rate of change of height and is obtained from a capacity commutator or bucket machine fed by VG and driven by the height servo shaft. Division by the gravity term G is achieved by suitable scaling. The sum of these two terms gives the time of bomb fall in a vacuum multiplied by VG. In practice, the air resistance reduces the downward velocity of the bomb and its time of fall is increased by an amount tor or time lag. Thus, the whole range distance is increased by VG tor. Tor is a complex function which varies with the type of bomb and with height and airspeed. The distance VG tor is synthesized in NBS by applying a suitably scaled ground speed voltage to a network of resistors. Trail results from the effect of air resistance on the horizontal motion of the bomb and this also varies with airspeed, height and the type of bomb. Trail voltage is generated by applying a suitably scaled airspeed voltage to a network of resistors. The trail voltage, thus calculated, is multiplied by the cosine of the drift angle delta by a potentiometer which is driven by a differential mechanism fed from the heading and track shaft. This gives the track component of trail which is subtracted from the whole range distance to give the forward throw. A second potentiometer driven by the drift angle shaft is used to multiply track trail by the tangent of the drift angle and so give the cross component of trail. 